You reap what you sow, as the old adage goes, and I found that out not just the hard way, but I knew it beforehand. So I was about 10 or 11, and I still lose sleep over it. And we were at Children's Church, and it was some like white elephant gift. I forget the occasion. It may have been Christmas, or it may have just been a special occasion. And we all brought in like a present so that everybody would have one. Actually, I think it was Children's Church and then like the younger Children's Church, if that makes sense. So there's like two divisions like older elementary, early elementary or something. The younger brought in their gifts, the older where I was at brought our gifts. And I think um, I just brought a VHS of A Bug's Life, if I remember correctly. And that was back in the day when there were VHS, but anyway. So at the beginning of church, I was looking at all the presents and I somehow saw inside of one, I saw a big police car with buttons on it. So I was very um, intrigued with emergency vehicles back in the day when sirens would go off and everything. Um, it would distract me like in class or what I was doing at home and such. So I don't think it's a coincidence that I'm a fire and Leo buffer today. And at this point I already had like a huge fire engine, actually it's a fire truck and it had like four buttons for four different sounds and everything and this was like a perfect complement to my collection the only problem is again it was for the little guys and such and so um, needless to say when it was time to get our presents I kind of bit sneaked over and chose that one and so as I was walking away one of the leaders uh, looked at me with a strange look and saying wait aren't you and I just walked away so when I got home, I opened it um, all excited and none of the buttons would work and the batteries turned to wax or something like that. So it was completely useless. There's nothing you could do. It was uh, just a broken down police car. Now what I lose sleep over is the fact that afterward, one of the little guys came up to me talking about the package that I got from their group or the present that I got from their group and he said isn't there a police car in there so I looked inside pretending to be ignorant and I'm like it is how did you know and he's like I looked inside I really really wanted that and he was looking at me with with those eyes and I just I don't know what got to me I was always raised with integrity and morals and everything and I just don't know I just wanted this um, police car and as soon as I determined listen this police car isn't going to work the batteries are irreplaceable you can't even put new batteries in I knew right then and there yes it's true you reap what you sow and it is therefore categorically true of what the Bible says a scripture that I've already heard like whoever honors themselves will be humbled but whoever humbles himself will be honored so um, I guess this video could serve as like I'm finally releasing the story. I guess as well as to make a humble apology like a decade and a half later uh, to that boy. And if it makes any difference, the police car did not work the whole time. So you could only just use it to like roll and pretend, I guess. And so this is something I still lose sleep over and maybe it could be a lesson to anyone uh, who watches this before it happens.